Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Wayne Wilson and I'm a software consultant for the Mainview family of products. In this demo, I'll show you how to use Mainview for ZOS to view system level metrics. First, from the EZM ZOS Interval Data menu, click on System Overview. This brings us to the Easy System menu. As you can see here, there are many types of system metrics available. I won't be demonstrating everything, but let's examine just a few to get the feel of it. Let's start with an overview. Again, hyperlink on the System Overview option. The SysOverZ view provides overall metrics about system resource usage. This view is useful to get a general overview of the total activity of the system or as a single source from which to generate alarms on critical metrics that you know are affecting system performance. It can also be used to get an overview of all LPARs in the Plex. To see this, enter con all on the command line. In my demo environment, I only have two LPARs available, but in yours, you could see many. Press F3 to return to the Easy System menu. Now let's look at workloads. From the Easy System menu, hyperlink on Workload Overview. This is the Sys Workload view. It's similar to the Sys over Z tabular view, but it's arranged in the detail format that you see here. Sys Workload provides easier access to that data and also shows more data fields in the same amount of screen real estate, including fields that you would have had to have scrolled right to see in Sys over Z. Press F3 to return to the Easy System menu. Now that you've seen a bit about system and workload overview data, let's focus on some specific resources. Let's start with the CPU. From the Easy System menu, we can look at CPU activity. So hyperlink on CPU activity. The CPU stat view not only shows how busy the CPU is, but it also breaks it down by processor type, general purpose, zip, zap, and IFL. It also indicates which workload types are using each type of engine. One unique feature of this view is that it shows both interval and real-time data on the same display. Note the I in parentheses next to the CPU busy header. This indicates that the data below is default interval data. If you scroll to the right, you will also see real-time data. Press F3 to return to the Easy System menu. Let's take a look at System Resource Manager activity by hyperlinking on SRM activity. By the way, have you noticed that this menu option has the right arrow in front of it? You may recall that this indicates that the next view you see will be another choice of menu options as opposed to navigating directly to a data display. The SRM Activity menu provides different hyperlinks about data in the System Resource Definition values as well as to job and workload consumption of ZOS service units and delays that are due to SRM constraints. Now prior to the advent of WLM, the IBM Workload Manager, these views were critical to the systems programmer or performance tuner to see how well he had defined the parameters in Sys1 ParmLib, IEA IPS, ICS, and Opt members to manage the relative priorities of workloads. In today's world, however, you'll probably want to spend more time in the workload manager views provided by Mainview for ZOS. However, since WLM activity is still based on these system definitions, let's take a quick reference peek at the definitions. Hyperlink on the IEA OptXX values. The SRM Opt view shows details about the IEA Opt parameters. I won't go into details about all of them. You can easily look them up in the IBM Performance and Tuning Guide. But it's at least useful to be able to see which of the Opt member is in use, B1 in this case, and to see what the parameter values currently are. Let's press F3 again to return to the Easy System menu. Let's skip down a little bit and take a look at performance trending. From the Easy System menu, click on the System Trends option. This is the SysSum view, and it's a very useful view that shows system activity over time. It utilizes the interval history feature of the main view architecture to show how the system is performing over the last 60 intervals of time. In this example, my main view system is configured to use 15 minute recording intervals. But notice the flow. The current time, the top line of the display, is 16.04.49 or about 2.05 in the afternoon. The rest of the lines of data step back in time, 15 minutes at a time. The colored thresholds indicate how well the workloads are now or were being serviced by the system. You can see in the workflow column that since noon, my demo system workloads have been receiving steadily worse service as the afternoon has progressed. 
yet the overall CPU busy is fairly steady, as well as being nowhere near to 100%. Let's take a look at another LPAR in my Plex to see if the problem manifests itself there as well. Let's use the context command to look at one of our other LPARs, SISO for example. Looking at SISO, we can see a similar trend of steadily worsening workflow performance. We can also see that his CPU busy is relatively steady. In our environment, this is probably due to another LPAR using more than its relative share. So let's go to the LPAR displays and see what's happening. First, we'll press F3 and return to the Easy System menu. To see metrics for specific LPARs, hyperlink on the LPAR information from the Easy System menu. This navigates us eventually to the LPAR stat Z view, which shows activity for each LPAR in the Sysplex. And yes, look at that. Several LPARs are overrunning their relative share. This is likely causing the slowdown on our demo system. Press F3 to return to the Easy System menu. As I said earlier, I'm not going to show you each and everything that's available on the system menu, so let's just skip over the crypto, JES, and suspend lock options. You can examine these on your own. But remember, there is extensive help at both the view and data element levels to assist you. Well, let's look at one last item from the system menu that I think could be quite useful. Let's click on the health checker option and get a look at how MainView for ZOS supports this IBM feature. The HCheck view is used to display information that is gathered from the IBM Health Checker. This is a relatively new feature for MainView for ZOS. Future releases of MainView for ZOS will provide the ability to perform actions and hyperlinks against this data. But it's currently useful just to display the checks that have been defined and what their current status is. It can also be used, however, to generate alarms using MainView Alarm Manager, which is something that the IBM Health Checker cannot do by itself. You can easily see exception conditions from this view, so let's hyperlink on the first exception to get more details. As you can see, the HCheckD view provides all of the detail fields of an individual check. As I said, future MainView for ZOS versions are expected to provide the ability to take action against any of these checks and possibly even modify the check parameters. But for now, you can use it to examine and understand how those values were set up. Well, as you've seen, there are many system-related metrics that you can examine and use to help manage your ZOS systems. We've looked at system overview, workload, and CPU metrics, both on the current LPAR and on others in the Sysplex. We've also looked at how these metrics can be used to see trends and have discussed how they can be used to create alarms for more effective problem notification. There are many more MainView for ZOS topics that can be explored, so for more information about MainView for ZOS, see the related demos box. And for more information about any BMC MainView product, please visit the URL shown here. Thank you for your time.